Nicole Brown was born May 19, 1959, in Frankfurt, West Germany, to parents Judy and Lou Brown. Her childhood was hectic, with five sisters and one brother from both of her parents together and separately. She spent the early part of her childhood in Germany, and before high school, her family made the move to America, where she would attend Rancho Alamitos High School in Garden Grove, California. The blonde beauty fit perfectly in her new California home, and she would spend her later high school years on the beautiful coast of Dana Point and graduated from Dana Hills High School in the summer of 1976. Nicole met star American football player O.J. Simpson in 1977 when she was 18 years old, working as a waitress at the Daisy Nightclub in Beverly Hills. They started dating while Simpson was married to his first wife, Marguerite, who was also expecting their daughter Erin at the time. Simpson and Marguerite then got divorced in March 1979, and the couple then went on and dated until finally tying the knot on February 2nd, 1985, five years after OJ retired from professional football. The couple welcomed a daughter, Sydney, that same year, and a son two years later, Justin. Nicole was reportedly a devoted mother. She refused to hire nannies, insisted on taking her children to dance and karate classes, and hosted family gatherings for holidays and birthdays. Along with her familial duties, she started a small interior decorating business with only her husband and his friends as clients. However, the couple's marriage was far from pleasant, and O.J. was very abusive towards Nicole. According to a police report from an incident on New Year's Day 1989, Simpson yelled, quote, I don't want that woman sleeping in my bed anymore. I have two women, and I do not want that woman in my bed anymore. Nicole called the police several times to report Simpson's abuse and he was arrested once in 1989 and pleaded no contest to spousal abuse. However, Nicole dropped the charges after her parents allegedly encouraged her to reconcile with O.J. as he offered her father, Louis, the opportunity to invest in a lucrative Hertz car rental facility at the Ritz-Carlton in Monarch Bay, California, which was financially beneficial to Nicole's family. Nicole filed for divorce on February 25, 1992, citing irreconcilable differences. O.J. informed Nicole of his one-year extramarital affair with Tawny Kitayen, during which he gave her expensive jewelry, and it ended when Kitayen married David Coverdale in 1989. Following the divorce, O.J. and Nicole had an unstable relationship that eventually recovered. Nicole called 911 on October 25, 1993, crying and saying that O.J. was quote going to beat the shit out of me. When police arrived, Nicole stated about O.J. quote, he gets a very animalistic look in him. All of his veins are visible and his eyes are black and cold like those of an animal. I mean, very strange. And when I see it, I get scared. Nicole also stated that regardless of his scary look, O.J. hadn't hit her in four years, which is good to note as we move forward. She then moved out of their shared home several months after the incident, and the relationship came to an end. Nicole now resided at 875 South Bundy Drive in Brentwood, Los Angeles, California, with her two children. On the Sunday evening of June 12, 1994, Nicole, aged 35, was brutally stabbed to death alongside 25-year-old restaurant waiter Ron Goldman. Her body was discovered just after midnight on June 13, the following morning. She was lying in the fetal position in a pool of blood. An autopsy revealed 
that Brown had been stabbed seven times in the neck and scalp, with a five-inch gash across her throat that severed both her left and right carotid arteries and breached her right and left jugular veins. Brown's neck wound was so deep that it nearly decapitated her. She also had defensive wounds on her hands. Nicole's funeral was held on June 16th at St. Martin of Tours Catholic Church in Brentwood, California, attended by O.J. and their two children, members of Brown's family, Al Cowlings, house guest Cato Kalin, and Steve Garvey. Brown is buried at Ascension Cemetery in Lake Forest, California. Many people think it was her ex-husband who did it, and they have a plausible right to. Besides, he did have a history of scary, aggressive behavior and has been documented as not being afraid to hurt her. Was he upset that Nicole was cheating? Or was it even OJ? Could it be some other crazy murderer that never was caught or even thought about? We won't ever find out because, as we all know, the trial of the century followed which resulted in Nicole's ex-husband being acquitted of any charges regarding her and her friend's murder. But this isn't a video about OJ, so I won't be covering the case. This is all about Nicole. Anyways, following the trial in February 1997, her ex-husband was found liable in a civil trial for the wrongful deaths of Nicole and Ron Goldman, providing some measure of affirmation to their families. He was ordered to pay $8.5 million in compensatory damages to the Goldmans, as well as $25 million in punitive damages to be divided between the Goldmans and Brown's children. As of today, O.J. Simpson has passed away from cancer. May everyone rest in peace. As always, thanks for watching Pastime Mysteries.